Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded July 21st, 2016. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to be talking about HTT Poxy, the Neutrino Exploit Kit, and the Ubuntu Forum Hacks. Stay tuned. This is a Security Weekly production. Brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. IT Pro TV offers 1,000 hours of up to date, high quality video training content. Course topics include certified cloud security professional, ethical hacking, cryptography, and VMware. You can stream their courses live or on demand to your mobile device, all for one low monthly subscription price and cancel at any time. Visit ITProTV forward slash hack naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HN30 for a free seven day trial and get 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Welcome back. There's a new named vulnerability out there, HTT Poxy. That's right, it has its own logo and website. It's the real deal because of that. So HTT Poxy is actually a set of vulnerabilities that can allow an attacker to remotely set the HTTP proxy environmental variable on affected servers. So this, in effect, would allow the attacker to proxy any outgoing HTTP requests. You see what they did there? Yeah, H proxy, HTTP, yeah, get it? There are, there are several ways to mitigate this, including blocking the proxy header. So you need a few variables to align to exploit this. First, the server needs to be running a CGI or CGI-like environment where the HTTP proxy is a variable that exists and can be set. Second, an HTTP client needs to trust the HTTP proxy variable and set it as its proxy. And last, the client then needs to make an HTTP, not HTTPS request. So there's definitely a very specific set of circumstances here that you need to exploit this, however, you should implement the mitigations if you are affected and still patch as soon as the patches are available. Moving on, the developers of Neutrino Exploit Kit have been very quick to implement some new exploit code that was re released on GitHub by the security research firm Theroy.io. So this exploit code is for CVE 2016 0189, which is a VB script memory corruption in IE11 and allows for remote code execution. So the absolute worst that you can imagine. Now there are patches out there for IE11 for Microsoft. So if you're up to date, you're safe. If you haven't patched IE11, patch it now. So this is obviously just another round in the current fight between the different exploit kits to fill the void left by Angular. And I'm sure we'll see more and more developments, more and more advancements on these exploit kits as they all fight to become number one. Our last story this week is the Ubuntu forms were just recently hacked. And the usernames, emails, and IP addresses for 2 million users were dumped. So reportedly, no passwords at all were accessed. Though, if I was a... Ubuntu form user, I'd be changing my password anyways, just to be on the safe side. Now, the attacker was able to gain access to the data through a known SQL injection vulnerability in the form runner add-on that was running on the forum. So Ubuntu, for its part, has already patched its uh, forums, brought everything up to date. It's also gone through and reset the passwords on all of its database servers, all of its forum servers. So they've done due diligence and they've been pretty good about you know, giving us information on how this was attacked. 
That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. Thanks for listening, and keep on hacking naked.